Here we are. This is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. As small as it is, it's a very powerful little tool. Let's take a look at the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. The focus these days is no longer on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera, but the Pocket Cinema Camera. Let's take a look at the menu settings. There's the display settings, the recorder settings, audio settings, and camera settings. Now in the camera settings, you can change the date, you can change the time, you can change the ISO, you can change the white balance, and you can change the shutter angle. Now it's pretty easy to change these things with the compass settings up, down, left, right. The shutter angle, for instance, can vary between 360 degrees and 45 degrees. Now it's not infinitely variable, there are certain steps. For the audio settings, there's an overall microphone input. You can set your channel one and channel two input levels to mic or line level. There's an individual audio level adjustment for channel one and channel two, and they can both be ganged together. The recorder settings, you can adjust between ProRes and Cinema DNG when it's available. You can change your dynamic range. You can change the frame rate and your time-lapse interval. For the display settings, you can change your dynamic range, the brightness of the screen, the zebra, and your HDMI overlays for the HDMI output. The zebra can be turned off or set anywhere between 75% and 100%. Now, taking a look at the image on the screen, here by hitting the focus button, we can turn on the focus peaking. This makes focusing on such a small camera very, very easy. As you can see, there's not a lot of camera here. The top includes the record button, as well as a play and a track forward or track backward button, and a quarter 20 thread. The bottom also has a quarter 20 and the door for the battery and the media. The left hand side has, as you've seen on the website, link control, headphone jack, microphone jack, HDMI output, and a 12 volt input. All in all, it's a very compact camera and uh, it's, it's very exciting to see something this powerful and this small come on the market at this price range. The Pocket Cinema camera certainly packs a lot of power into a small package. The active mount on the camera is supposed to be able to control the iris, and now I've also heard it's supposed to control the focus as well. This would be uh, really good for running gun shooting. I'm Anthony Barocas, and this has been my look at the Black Magic Pocket Cinema camera.